Well, hello everyone and welcome back to yet another satisfactory video with update 5. Now, update 5 has finally been released and I wanted to show off two new buildings. It is buildings that make plastic and rubber. Now, these are very similar buildings, which is why I'm kind of combining them because they're pretty much the exact same building just what they're producing is different so what we're gonna do is start over here on this building where we're making we can see here our plastic so to make plastic all you need is a refinery and crude oil so that's what we're gonna be bringing in now these are not up and running yet because i'm still working on the train station which you can kind of see on the outside at the beginning there you can see the train i'm working on that right now to get resources into here so we can start producing all of these things but what these are going to be producing is plastic so we can see that all we need is crude oil and we're going to be producing 20 plastic and then we're also producing 10 heavy oil residue which we will filter in as well now the idea behind this building is just to produce a lot of plastic now we might need to make another one of these buildings in the future because these are not like the biggest buildings, so we might need to make more but one of the ideas is that this building can produce a decent amount in a pretty small footprint if you ask me. We can see that we have our pipes color coded so black means crude oil and then on the discharge side we can see that we're going to produce the plastic which we're then going to merge into our conveyor but then you can also see that uh, heavy oil residue that we're going to take and then that's going to be in a purple pipe because the residue is actually purple and then we're going to take that up and put that into storage. Now, again, this is all the same throughout the entire building. Now, this one's a little bit different, though. This room, we are still producing plastic, but here we're actually using a different formula because here we're going to take the polymer, polymer resin with water, and then that's going to make us our plastic. Now, you might be wondering, well, where are we getting that resin from? Well, we're actually getting that from our power factory. If you recall from that video, we had excess stuff from our refineries over there, and now we're actually going to bring those over into this building and then that way it is being used so all of the residue that we're making over there should actually be produced and sent over here at 100% efficiency if everything is running at 100% efficiency over on the factory side. Now with this plastic what we're actually doing is instead of using it for sending it to another factory we're actually just storing it. And now you might be wondering well why am I just storing it? We're going to go up this staircase. And the reason why is with a lot of these new foundations, if you actually want them to be glossy, you do need plastic. So we're going to sort them into this container here. And then this will just allow us to build up that plastic that we can use for our future builds. So that's kind of the idea here. But then everything on this side of the building, it's just going to be making plastic that can be used for other resources. And then you can actually see on the discharge side, now we're actually starting to go up onto the second floor. Now you might be wondering, well, if we have our refineries here, what is up on the second floor? Now that's actually a great question. What we're actually gonna have up there is we're also gonna merge our plastic up here as well. And we're gonna bring it all the way up and then into storage buffers or into storage containers for the plastic. Now the reason why I'm doing this is it really does work out really well with the amount of space that we have and it keeps things really combined and really small. Because with update 5, we don't have as many boundaries that we have to deal with. And so we can actually do things like this now. So what I decided to do was to use this fluid buffer and just a whole bunch of these all the way down the entire length of the building to just store our fluids. And then if we ever need to get rid of it for some reason, we can flush the system. But the idea is that we would bring these into another factory or into storage somewhere else. Same thing with our storage containers here. They're dual storage containers, so they're double tall. And then we're again, we're just going to take that plastic and put it into other buildings and split it however we need to do that. So one thing I do want to bring up is that we do have these pipeline floor holes that they did add with update five. Now, those don't always work, and I'm not a, personally a big fan of how they look. So I came up with this idea, and I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, is let's say you wanted to just not have those pipe connections. You can actually just use these floor lift holes that we use for our conveyor and then put those into the floor and then have your pipes go through that. Now, they won't physically connect to it, but it looks like it will just go through the floor just like what your conveyor would do. Now, so we're on the outside of the building here, and then you can actually see we have this pipe going all the way across. Now, that is that same residue that we're producing with our refineries just being carried over into the other fluid buffers. Now, this building over here is making rubber. Now, very, very similar layout, so we're not going to spend as much time in here. You can see here's where we're bringing in the crude oil. Again, once again, using those conveyor lift floor holes. And then we're just going to bring in the crude oil and this building's just a little bit longer it's just a continuous run we're not going to have the polymer resin coming into this building like what we are with the other one 
but what you're just going to see here is just a solid run of refineries that we're going to bring in and very similar design to where we'll bring the rubber up and put that into storage containers but then also with the uh, residue we're going to put that into the storage buffers and then what we'll do is just bring that all the way down to the other end now you might be wondering why did i connect the two buildings with pipe and that's just because if i did need to flush the system it does make it a little bit easier to flush everything for that matter which is the exact reason why i did do that so we can just do it from one central location but to make sure it doesn't overflow too quick because obviously if we're going to be producing this much oil residue you know it's going to send a lot into those storage buffers but i didn't want it to fully consume up that building so what I did was I did add a valve here. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. So I'm still working on some other builds right now. So it might be a little bit longer before I get to some other builds, unfortunately. But I do want to start a actual survival build up. Uh, once again, I know it's been a while since I've done that. So I do want to start that up. But I am working on some more builds on this world to kind of produce like a train station and other bigger factories like what we need for steel and stuff like that. So all that will come with time, and as I get those done, I will update you guys with videos, of course. But yeah, I will see you guys for the next videos, and if you did like this video, guys, please like and subscribe. It does really help out the channel, and if you want to see the other two tours of these buildings, definitely go check those out to see what these buildings look like on the inside and outside, of course. So thank you for watching, guys. It is greatly appreciated, and I will see you guys for the next video sometime soon. Bye-bye.